Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. So what we have here is the iPhone 3GS from the $65 iPhone lot. This iPhone is really dirty, so we'll have to clean that. And it's also disabled and on an older version of iOS. So we're going to be using iFaith, a really old jailbreaking type tool, to back up the iOS version so we can restore it. So the reason you have to do this is because Apple does not allow you to roll back your iOS version, but on some of these older iPhones, it was super easy to back up the SHSH blobs, which is the thing needed to downgrade to older versions at the time. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. So here we are with my ThinkPad and we have the iPhone 3GS here. Um, yeah, leave a like if you remember doing this. Um, this will probably be nostalgic for some of you. So this is iTunes 11, which you need to use iFaith. And what we're going to do is dump SHSH blobs and proceed, and this uses a boot ROM exploit. Um, just like Check Rain, it's that same concept, except this was a long, long time ago, um, which was a boot ROM exploit for the 3GS and the iPhone 4 only. It's really awesome that we have a newer exploit now, but yeah, this is that same concept. So just like Check Rain, you basically just put it into DFU mode, and then it just puts stuff on it. Um, but instead of jailbreaking, we're backing up the SHSH blobs. And as you can see, the computer detected it. Uh, this computer is really slow to actually download the drivers, so it probably won't see this right away, but hopefully eventually it will. It says I failed to enter DFU, which is incorrect. My computer is just still trying to download the stupid drivers. Okay, so I just left for a bit, um, but it does say, finally, we should be good. Um, so if we just click try again hopefully it will see it okay so i have to run ifaith as administrator my bad okay let's try this again so dump shsh proceed let's go there we go hopefully this exploit works the first time sometimes it takes a few times Oh no, it's re it has to install device drivers again. It's going to time out because it's going to take too long. Oh, it detected it. So it didn't time out. It's still going. Oh, look at that. There is the exploit going through. And it looks like it's actually on iOS 4.2.1, which I did not expect. I thought this was going to be iOS 5, so that's really cool. So lucky for us, this did work the first time, and it's asking us where we want to save our SHSH blobs. So now we have to build an IPSW. So an IPSW is basically like the operating system file for an iPhone. So you're basically just injecting that IPSW with the SHSH blobs, which are device specific. That's why you can't just get random SHSH blobs. They have to be for your specific device. Um, so I have to get the SHSH blobs, and then it's going to ask me for an IPSW, which is not dev device specific, so I'll have to just download that online. Okay, so we have our IPSW, so now we can just select it. And we can click Build IPSW. Okay, so now that that is done, we just have to put it in DFU mode one more time and restore it. So we're basically just wiping everything off of it and replacing the OS back on, except instead of going to the latest OS, we're just putting back iOS 4. So it says we are in Pawn DFU, which is a good sign because Pawn DFU is a modified DFU that tricks the phone into accepting modified IPSWs, which is what we're doing here. So now I just need to click 
uh, shift restore. And now we just have to select our custom IPSW. And our phone is restored. We are good to go. So I totally forgot to record an outro, so um, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. Stay tuned for one of my upcoming videos will be me cleaning this phone externally and internally because it's really gross. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like, leave a comment, whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.